Hey Karen Hadley here from stampingbees.co.nz. Welcome back. We've had some fun few days in Rotorua. I don't know if you're from New Zealand or ever planned to visit, but Rotorua is certainly a must see. There are so many exciting things to do there that it has to be on your list. And if you live in New Zealand and haven't been, you really do have to get there. Um, it's pouring with rain outside, so again, one of those perfect days for sitting in your craft room and having a play. And I've got just the perfect thing for you to have a go with. It's something new out of the catalogue on page 179 that I'd like to share with you, a colouring technique that is certainly fun. So I really do hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, so part two on some colouring options. And today I'd like to share with you something new in the catalogue called the pigment sprinkles. Um, in the last catalogue we had brush-o, but now we've got our own pigment sprinkles which match our colours. Uh, the, they come with six colours and there is Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Gorgeous Grape, Mango Melody and Melon Mambo. Now I had a lot of fun playing with these. They, honestly a little bit of the sprinkle goes a long, long way. Uh, very intense in colour but also it goes everywhere on your hands and, and it's very intense colour. It does wash off but um, it is something that will spread quite easily. Now they come in gorgeous little jars that you no longer have to stick a pin in. You can, they come with uh, little lids and then on the inside there's a little flip and we have our own little holes in there. So much more convenient. You just pop that back on and then you pop the lid back on and it keeps it perfectly ready for the next time. So today I thought I was having a great play with these, making all sorts of different things, uh, which I'll share with you, just some of them. Um, I know silhouette, doing silhouette cards at the moment are very popular, so I wanted to have a go with that. I didn't, I don't have any of the stamp sets or the dies at the moment for this for making silhouette cards, so I thought I'd just make one of my own and just did the background with some brushes, made it sort of dark and moody like the night sky with the silhouette. And then I used it as a paint for stamping, as ink. Just put some on a block, inked up my stamp. So put a little bit of water on the block with the ink, inked up my stamp, then stamped onto the watercolour paper. Now I use watercolour paper because it absorbs the water quite quickly, whereas the shimmer paper just leaves it sitting on the top for a bit longer. I was quite pleased with how that one turned out, like just like a watercolour picture. And then of course you end up with leftovers and I thought, oh what can I do, what can I do with these? That's uh, one bit of leftover there. So never throw your leftovers away obviously. And um, made this card. And then I thought I would do, use this leftover, pink again, sorry, and um, make this, show you how to make this one today. So it's just using that leftover strip and some stamping. Quick and easy, but very colourful and bright and happy. All right, so let's get started. Pop that up there. So we just have the standard standard card with the thick card stock and a melon mambo mat. I put all the measurements at the end of the YouTube in the description for you. And we have some standard whisper white. So first of all, we will colour our strip because it does take a little while to dry so I have actually pre pre-made one but I'll show you how how to do this now my 
spritzer for stamping up is just clogged actually, a bit overused, so I have to order some more. So I've just grabbed one of these for today to use. So I'm going to use the Melon Mambo and the Gorgeous Grape. Now as, as I was saying, it actually, you if you want a deeper, thicker colour, obviously use more, but you really only need, to be honest, the tiniest amount of sprinkle on here. Now that's going to be quite dark on that corner there. There's blotches, so I'll just put a little bit there. So that's going to go a long way. So much fun playing with these because every time you do it, it comes out different which is the exciting part about it. And the colours are just so intense. So this one is the pink. So you'll be able to see, I've done it quite light at that end and quite dark at that end, how it changes with the amount. And you just need such a small amount. So we're just going to just grab this so that I can hold it down in the middle. So just lightly spray, look how that comes up, isn't that amazing? Oh, just so beautiful. So depends on how much you put water and then you can just let it dry. So the water does curl up, I've done this on shimmer paper, so it does take a little bit longer to dry. But look at those gorgeous patterns forming in there. And the pink has got a little bit of yellow pigment in there and the purple, the blue pigment. So that would take a little while to dry. So as I said, I have prepared something earlier. So we'll just pop that to one side. Well, sure, I will use that for something else. And this is the one that has dried already very sim just the same colors the purple and you see you've got the yellow pigment there and just the swirls different every as I say each one will be different now I've put that on some melon mambo ma um, border matting sorry losing all my words been one of those days unfortunately Maybe it's just old age, losing my words. I'm sure they're in there somewhere. So I'll just pop that on to dry while we do the stamping. Now the stamp set that we're going to be using is Bloom and Grow, which is a photopolymer stamp set some beautiful words in here. You are simply wonderful. Forever starts today. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's celebrate you and these flowers which you can stamp as we're going to stamp or stamp them, emboss them and then colour them in. So many choices. Now they are photopolymer so we will be needing to use a foam pad but I do need some grid paper because I want to make sure that I'm getting this, this stamp right in the middle for both these stamps. So I'll pop that there and I've marked a center point there just so I know where that is. And I've got this stamp stamped um, mounted on this block and we'll be using the Melon Mambo. So what I'm wanting to do is, is that my card stock? Yes. Popping this, it's got a bit of a mark on it right in the middle so I know now that that whoops that's not the middle that is that that is the center point and I'm going to use this flower center as my center point on the stamp set on this now when a bigger using a bigger stamp you can either still tap as you normally would on your ink pad but sometimes with a bigger stamp, it is easier to reverse 
and stamp the stamp pad onto the ink pad onto the stamp see you're getting all my words mixed up that's all right you know what I mean so we've inked that up and I will turn it up that way okay so right up the top and using that center piece as my I hope you're not seeing my hair. Just make sure that we have an even ink. Gorgeous, that's the one. Now I'll just turn it over and do the other side. Making sure once again I have got that Just ink that up. I will try and use another color next time. Not Malamambo, but that was one of the colors in there, and of course, it called out to me. So, lining that up again with the dot in the middle. that down Brilliant. okay set that dry a little bit the other thing we're going to have is a sentiment and that is just going to be the hello now all I've done with that is stamp that with the gorgeous grape which is the other color that we're using Pop that over there just on a scrap bit of paper so I'll do that now while I've got my mat whoops flying hello and just pop that there Then I have used these, they are called the Stitched Labels Framelits. I have a lot of gorgeous options in there for creating labels and that's for a background. So that embosses. You have a ticket, some circles and a lovely lacy tag. So we're just using this one today with which fits perfectly so I have already cut that out and have that here ready to go so let's start putting this together so the card base this on now that's got a little bit of just grab my scissors a little bit of burr on the side there turn that off excellent so let's just put a little bit of glue spread it thinly no big blobs I do like the glue. I um, certainly can't put things on straight very readily without moving, being able to move around and the glue just gives you that little bit of extra time to be able to do that. Now this has been popped on dimensionals. So I haven't colored the flowers or anything in because all the color is on the strip. So it's a great way to use, just checking all my dimensionals, great way to use your extra bits or leftover bits or 
Obviously, they don't have to be left over, but... front of the card what would I do without Tombow I do use it mainly but I do like to use tape at times for different things putting on ribbon or what we're going to be doing now on the back of this sentiment for putting some Uh, not twine, thread, metal thread on the back. So I'll put a little bit of tape on the back of this. The time factor in this card really is the drying. The drying of the uh, the watercolour, the pigment sprinkles, does take a little bit of time to dry. So you could make a batch, a batch up the head of some different colours and then just keep them for when you want to use some. You could use a whole lot of different combinations. I've just been playing with a whole lot of different ones, testing some colours, etc. Um, oops, I just thought I'd make that a bit smaller. Bring that around one more time. Oops. Lovely rose colour. This is something I am trying to work on perfecting more is this art of popping something behind like this. I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos. Not something that it looks so ran it's supposed to be random but it's not random to me <laughs> so just play around with that until you're happy to where it is and then spread that out a bit so on the inside all I have done is use the large flower that we had before and just stamp it on the angle so I'll just ink it up in the middle really and make sure I get it up the right way and one last thing that I did actually put I'll show you on this card and pulled it over and I don't want to rush off and get it for you is this Wink of Stella in the centre of these cards. I've popped a little bit in each little centre there. And of course, no card of mine would be finished without some bling. These are the peacock, the noble peacock gems. They have some stunning colours in these gems. This is the, the pink, there's the purple and the blue. Gosh, sounds like a car outside is having fun. We're at the end of a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know where that car's come from. 
and done. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you've got any questions at all about the card, about the sprinkles. Um, just have a go, have a play, see what you like, see how you like to play with them, whether you like to use them as stamps or you can use them on all mediums really. And um, get back to me and show me, send me some of your samples. It would be fantastic. So please tune in to my YouTube channel and subscribe. So, oh, see my words and subscribe. That would be fantastic and happy crafting. And I'd love to see you again next time. Take care. Bye.